guys see that? My spirit animal. Tarzan. My man, the real Tarzan, came down. 24-year-old Michael Holston out on the water at night. With its scenes of charging rhinos, savage pygmies, and the great hunter. Tarzan. We are in the middle of South America. I don't even know how to pronounce this place. Guayba, like, Cuiba, Cuiba, Cuiba. I don't know. How are you? We're gonna eat some lunch, probably some steak. And get on the road, full our road trip deep to the border by Bolivia on the river where it gets nice and green. Oh, yeah. Iganya. So, we out here in uh, El Tigro Marqueto. Oh, yeah, man. We got like uh, about two hours until we get to our lodge. And uh, we're just enjoying the scenery. It's actually really dry out here. I kind of expect it. Um, you know, you think about South America and Brazil, you just automatically think the rainforest. But this country that we're going through is a little different. It's really dry, it's kind of arid almost. They have a wet season. Um, apparently it's in like December, January, February-ish. And uh, right now it's dry season. But for now, we're just enjoying the view, baby. Boys getting the workout in? Boys getting a little workout. Uh, a little quick. A little uh -oh. quick pump, like, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, son, oh, so, give me some of them shoulder flies, you know. Uh, stay healthy up here. Yes, a little bit of kettlebells. Oh. Mm, a son. Mm, little bit of hammer wow, curls. Be sore. Yeah, boy, out here in Brazil, getting a little freaking pump in, son. Mm. Had a long flight, so I got to get my, yeah, a little bit of shrugs, yeah, baby. <laughs> Guys, check this out. This guy is fresh roadkill. He just got smashed, he's still hot. It is a tegu. Two bananas marinade. I used to uh, read and raise these things out in Florida at my old job. I just seen two uh, katakata eating it. So sick, dog. Look at this. Oh, he's dead, but poor little guy. Another, another lizard bites the dust. These guys have monster teeth. Look at these teeth inside of here. I mean, I got bitten by these guys, no freaking joke. What a bite these guys can give you. Now, tegus are gonna eat mainly like, uh, they'll raid bird nests, they'll eat eggs, they'll eat snakes, other lizards, everything, they're garbage guts. And uh, they're fast as crap. They're also invasive in North America, but Bolivian tegus, Paraguayan tegus, Brazilian tegus, Colombian tegus. Bro, they're all over the place down here. One of the few reptiles that are uh, hard to catch. They're very fast. And uh, I struggle with trying to catch these guys out in the wild, but it's, it sucks seeing them dead, but it's also cool to see the life cycle happening um, out here in Brazil. These cars are coming all over the place. We gotta go, but let's go, baby. Yo, yo, you like that? Here we 
go. Point of entry. We are at the point, starting point of the Pantanal. Oh, look, Trevor, to the right. Oh, Jabaroos. Whoa, bro. Tons of them. Can Well, here we are in the entrance of the Pantanal. Right. And we've already seen multiple different species of wildlife. These Javaroos, we saw a pink shoebill fly away. We saw some Karakara, Tegu, a Capybara. And we've only been on the road for what, like 30 minutes? Yeah, not so even. We haven't even got to the entrance. This is the entrance of the park. So uh, the balance of the ecosystem. Look, these little cool yellow birds, I don't even know what they are. Tweeting around, there's fruit trees everywhere. It's a this of is, life, uh, yeah, man, the whole. Uh, the jaguar is the umbrella of the whole ecosystem and we're going to go see the top of the food chain and observe them in their natural habitat yeah, and I, I watch them go to work. I don't think that's what people understand when you talk about them being the apex predator. Yeah, man. People think you, you know, all these animals depend on each other. It's a big balance, bro. It's a big balance. And when man puts his hand in the ecosystem and turns that wheel, that's it takes it. The, it's exactly, man. So we're here to give these guys a, a pat on the back for we're doing this. We're returning what's been taken away. Exactly. We got a long road ahead of us. Let's so. go, man. Let's do this. Alright guys, another roadkill out here. This is another fresh guy. This is your iguana iguana, your green iguana, scientific name. I'm gonna stick them on the side so no other animals get hit by the oncoming traffic that's going in and out. And uh, it's the best way to do it, man. Green iguana in its natural habitat. Here we have a freshly smashed baby caiman. Oh, the mom's over there. Yeah. That's what they usually sound like when they're they're around this size, calling for mom. It's a uh, sad man. See a cute little baby like this. This guy's just hatched not too long ago, probably this year, for sure this year. And uh, this is the consequences of human and animal conflict. Cars in and out of the jungle, going on these roadways, exporting and importing, smashing wildlife. Oh, poor little kid, man. Well, luckily there's no uh, there's no shortage in Cayman out here, so uh, I feel bad, but it's the way of life, you know? There's a whole nest of Cayman over here. Literally, there's like, I've seen like 20 cameras take off into the bush, but you hear that little, ah, she's probably gonna call mom out. Probably gotta watch out, cause she's probably gonna come smoking out of here trying to get me. <laughs> little baby, man. I'm not gonna hurt you, kid. I promise you're gonna be free. Oh man, there's tons in there, like actually tons in there. Maybe if I can come around this way. You can see mom and those babies. Oh, so I just 
Oh, mom's coming. Here comes mom. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mom. Here. Do you want him back? I don't, I don't want any problems. Oh, God. Guys, mom is right there. She sees us. She hears her babies. I'm going to bring them back to you so they can get out the street. Hey, 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 hey. Mom, I am sorry. Mom, here, baby. I'm going to give them back to you. I don't want any problems. Here. Good kid. I know. They're gone. They're back to you, I swear. See? Go, go. Go back to mommy. Go. Go. I'll get you other ones. Just stay right there. She's like, give me my babies. You monster. There's another one right here. I see him. Don't run away, kid. I don't want it. I'm bringing him back. She is pissed, huh? Wow. What a defense mechanism. I have so much respect for reptilians. And to see a mom charging me about her babies. She has no idea, no clue. She doesn't care that she just seen three babies smashed in the street. She just does not want me touching her kids. And I'm trying to get them back to her. I'm sorry, mom. I'm going to get up out of here. But that bush line is loaded with uh, baby caiman. And uh, I think these guys are uh, Yakare caiman. Um, or Yakare, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But again, there's probably like at least 10 more babies in there, but I don't want to stress mama anymore. And my feet hurt. So I'm gonna get up out of here, let's go. Bom dia in the Pantanal in Brazil. We're close to the border. We have a group of well-groomed gentlemen that are born, raised from multiple generations in the jungle. And today we're going on a hike. This morning me and Trevor woke up about five o'clock in the morning, saw the sunrise, seen a couple of birds nesting. It was ridiculous. Got some hyacinth macaws right there in the tree. Dreams come true, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Jabiru. This is after your start. You just talked about it. You just talked about bringing the babies a bunch of supplies to build the nest up. <laughs> and here comes mom. <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn, she had a mouthful, huh? A lot of stuff for it. This bird just it's bought just, literally. He's just fixing the nest. A pummel of freaking, I don't know, thorns and vines over. <laughs> Why birds are able to talk? Which me. one is the part of their uh, physiology that made them able to talk? Their esophagus? Or their tongue. They tongue. have rounded tongues. Same mm, like us. Rounded tongues. That's, that's why they can they can imitate human sounds. Boom. <laughs> Learning so many new things. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! <laughs> man, it's, it's a blessing to be here, man. 
Tomorrow we'll get in the quest of Jaguars, but today we're gonna do everything in between. We're gonna work our way up the food chain from the bottom all the way to the top. Let's go on a hike. Ah! Boom, boom, yeah. <laughs> Three chicks. Jabiru is Brazil's national bird. Yes, Brazil symbol. Brazil, Brazil symbol. symbol. Five foot bird. Five foot. Five foot. Right here. Right here. Right here. Wow. We have an aricari. It's a toucan. A little smaller species. Subspecies of toucan. You guys are wondering what this is. This is one of the chain links to start a preservation here. Costa Tequila, dedicated, help the Jaguar. See that? See this? The culture, the literature, Jaguars range all the way from even North America, Central and South America. It's gonna start right here in the Panama. Amazon lava lizard. Lava lizard, also native to the Galapagos in Ecuador. They share the same territory with the uh, marine iguanas. A lot of people always ask me if I could come back as an animal. I always say jaguar, but my second option is an ant. I want to see how they live underground. And I also want to see how it is to work as a real team. It's a big leaf cutter ant carrying a freaking leaf. This is a garlic tree. Garlic tree. Garlic tree. Mm -hmm. Definitely garlic. If this tree is smelling, if we are going to have a rain, if it smells garlic, rain. Guys, if you look up, you see a big triangular hole in this tree. It's a hyacinth nest. And the hyacinth that lives in there is right behind it on that branch up there. So there's probably babies in there right now, little chicks. How freaking sick is that? Something that was nearly almost extinct. We've seen like over a dozen this morning. Oh. It must still be in there, huh? Some type of colubrid, for sure. He's healthy. And it's fresh because the head's still wet. You can even see the eye cap in there. See that? Literally see his eyes. It's still moist. This, this is what happens when you bring motherfuckers from New York and in the jungle. There we go, we got sick. MTV Cribs, Bronx edition, son. You know what I'm saying? We got the ACG pulled over with the with the Oakley shades, you know? Yeah, nets. The mosquito nets. You know, <laughs> those mosquitoes. Yo, get in here, kind of keep the cold in. You, you know gotta keep the cold in, yo. You know, I like how it is in Manhattan, nice and brick. You know what I'm saying, brother? No, 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 no. <laughs> My man's little man. Show, show me uh, your air conditioning now. Yo, this is what we do here. <laughs> Put this on. <laughs> Portable AC, baby, you know? We got portable AC. <laughs> when you come out of the shower, you got a little fan, blow dry the hair. <laughs> you have, you know, you're not hungry. Just come in. Get the fuck out of this shit. Yo, we got Twizzler style patches, cliff bars. We got all We got pine bars. <laughs> we got cliff bars. Yo, we coming at you strong. We got, which one we got here? Oh, some North Time Wars. Spider? Shit, real, bro. <laughs> I got this last screen with Papa. I got Bit Body Spider and Antibiotics for days. <laughs> you got the layout of the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> you got the layout of Oh, it's kind of dirty, y'all. We got the, the gel. You got it. <laughs> 
got gel. <laughs> got sun bone for that tan. Probably Jaguar, Jaguar food. For sure, Jaguar yes. ate this one. Guys, there's a main, uh, many food. A Jaguar, for sure. Snatched this bad boy up, ate him, and then nature took its course on the rest, but here is the remains. A freaking crocodile skull. What is that? First wild yellow anaconda. Here's there, buddy. Oh, this guy. Hi, hey, you're alright. You're alright. I'll let you try it. This guy is a wild snake, my first one ever. Look at that, sick. Not trying to bite, just trying to get away. Now you have your green anaconda. This is your yellow. I heard in the panther now, you're not gonna see many green anacondas. But these guys, they get about 10 feet at the most. You get lucky, you see a 12 footer. Look at that thing, man. They're pretty dark out here. Mine's just a high yellow at home, but it's really cool to see these guys out here just getting some last bit of sun before the sun goes down now baby jaguars will eat these guys but these guys will eat small caiman they'll eat baby capybara they'll eat fish these guys are more aquatic than the green anacondas full-on wild snake hasn't tried to bite me one time look at this thing man it is sick now it's pretty dry out here in these uh, swampy wetlands but this is prime habitat for these guys I mean, even they'll eat eels, they'll eat birds. These are amongst the top of the food chain. Not the tippy top, but uh, this snake, once it gets a certain size, it can hold its own out here. But again, look at this noodle, man. Your yellow anaconda, look at that belly. Now, I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna go through shed soon. That's why it's so dark, or maybe just uh, the range of these guys. They might get lighter as they go further north. There have been rumors of these guys hybridizing out in the wild, but who knows the real history of such vast land with so many animals, especially this yellow anaconda. What a bucket list, man. Wow. What a snake trying to run away. If you handle these snakes and you're pretty calm about it, it most likely won't tag you. And I don't encourage people to go out and grab snakes in the middle of nowhere if you don't know what it is. But fortunately enough, I have these at home. I've studied these guys for years. And it is a dream come true to see one out here in the wild. Wow, the Pantanal has not disappointed. Yellow anacondas. Saw ocelot last night. Hyacinth macaws. The list goes on. Another bucket list. Another freaking animal that I've obsessed over, I've dreamed over. <sighs> to finally touch it. To finally check that list of the yellow anaconda. Next is the green. But I'm not gonna be greedy, I'm gonna enjoy this moment. Not think about another one, just, oh man, look at this animal, bro. What a snake. <laughs> All right, guys, and uh, we're gonna get going back on the road. We're gonna let this little guy go. He's not even nowhere near the road. 
just want to get my hands on them, tell them I love them, tell them I've been thinking about them a lot. And that's it. He's going home. Thank you, buddy, for the experience. Hey, you're off. You're fine. You're free. Get out of here, kid. While I'm down here, there's crabs everywhere. Crab shells. Uh, more crabs. Guys, I gotta, I first wanna tell you guys, I love you. Second, my first time ever bringing a fishing pole on any one of my trips. Kids don't drink and fish, it's illegal in all 59 countries that don't even exist. <laughs> but cheers to you guys, we had a great first day. Now we're going on a boat. You guys see my pants? Look at my pants. Can you guess what we're gonna go do on the river where we're fishing? We're gonna go watch Jaguars eat Cayman in Capybara. Let's go. <laughs> oh man. Piganya. Well, you guys know at home, we got Buffalo Bill and uh, they're my loves. So to come out here and see, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call them wild cattle, but they're wild cattle. And um, they're, living, they're living free, man. They got all this grass to graze. There's uh, only one predator you gotta worry about. Jaguars. <laughs> you guys don't know, most of the uh, most of the farmers, most of the jaguar deaths that happen out here in the jungle are from cattle farmers. They make a living off of these cows. They sell the meat, they uh, they raise them. And when a jaguar is plucking off their uh, earnings, they start plucking off jaguars. That's the, uh, that's the main problem with jaguars out here. But, um, that's why we're here. We're here to educate you guys and tell you guys and show you guys. Hi, baby. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Bro, there's so many cows out there. Holy crap. Dude. Run, guys. Run like the wind. <laughs> that is so cool. I have no idea what this guy is. I just can't get bit. Cool snake, huh? It reminds me of a water snake. Water snake. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, it's definitely a water snake. Eyes on top of his head. Flat, flat body. The scales. Um, the tail thinness threw me off. It looks like it's probably pregnant, honestly. Uh, sick snake, huh? I figured since it was cool this morning, we'd see something. And thank God we did. This little guy came up trying to smoke. And I didn't know exactly what it was. But now that I know, it's uh oh this thing's full of babies for sure i can literally feel them it's calm and mellow now <laughs> i love the animals bro look at that guy sick animal cool little snake reminds me of literally a water snake not exactly sure what it is i'll look it up later there's tons of animals out here but uh, i wouldn't be surprised if this water snakes in the wetlands let's go let's say kid Whoa. Yellow tail Yellow tail Crivo! Bon dia! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Look at that, fellas. It's like, it's almost like a, like a tropical bird eating snake or something like that. This is not a Crivo. For sure not a Crivo. <coughs> I know Crivos. Crivos don't have this type of uh, body structure. They're much thicker. They're, they're the family of indigo snakes. Um, some type of arboreal bird eating snake. It has to be. I haven't seen one of these before, but just going off the body structure. Hey, 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 over here, kid. Um, 
Again, I don't know what it is, but it's for sure not a, uh, it's not a Kribo. Ready? Don't you bite my hand. Look at that guy, man. Sick animal. He's got a good lunge on him, so I gotta watch myself. He could bite in the face, because these guys are, uh, they're thin, so they're explosive. But uh, definitely not a Kribo. I know a Kribo when I see one. The head shape's not a Kribo. The eyes are not a Kribo. The spine, I can see the spine, and it's not malnourished, so it's gotta be some type of arboreal colubrid. Um, not sure if it's hot, but you never know. It might be uh, rear fanged, and uh, definitely a cool animal to see. We'll get this guy off the road. They almost ran him over. Uh, we got two cars coming. We were, he was literally in between us. But with this cool morning out here, I'm pretty sure we'll see a couple more snakes on the move, and uh, that cool weather brings out a couple of snakes. This is one of them. Sick animal, sick animal. Let's get him up off the road. Whew, look at that. Gotta be some type of something, man. Definitely a racer. Something, something along those lines. For sure not a colubrid. I mean, for sure not a, 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 a Kribo. That's for sure. All right, kid, get out of here. Put on the tree, put on the tree. And off he goes. And in a bush, mate. Snake number two. <laughs> Woo! Mark deer. <laughs> Alright guys, we have made it to the bigger river for the Jaguars. Man, tell you what. If I cry today, seeing my spirit animal in its natural habitat, don't judge me. <laughs> we may see some eat, we may see some, see some not eat. You know, we may see a, a jaguar fight, we may not see a jaguar fight, I don't know. But I tell you what, I'm gonna see a jaguar today. That's all that matters. I got my lucky jaguar pants on. <laughs> I'm already feeling emotional right now, because uh, it's like a dream, man. You know, been thinking about this a long time. Long time. In the water. See yeah. this dark green? Yeah. In the middle. In the middle here. He's yeah. Swimming. Yeah, 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 he's swimming. He's swimming. Crossing the river. Crossing the river. Oh my god. Oh. He's crossing the river. Oh. Oh. Oh man. Pirates of the Caribbean over here. Right there. 
see that? My spirit animal. Watching her hunt. I swear to God, it makes me want to reach a level of not giving a fuck. Just like that. Swimming across the river, hunting for my little children. Just on the, like literally on the prowl. I get up every morning and go to gym at 4 a.m. and I say I'm on the prowl. This girl is on, the, she's locked in. Doesn't care about what's going on. She wants to feed her babies. She wants to stay fit. Look at her. She's just gone, bro. She's looking, she's scouting, ready to pounce. What an ant, what a savage of an animal. I tell you what, that's my inspiration right there. That is what I want to be when I grow up. Thank you. Can't see already? Got a tattoo on my chest. Oh, okay. <laughs> right there. Right there. Right there. I got to see her. She's not in the cage. She's not in captivity. She's not someone's pet. She's not a DNA mixed up animal in the United States. But an ex-circus animal is a wild jaguar. Doing what jaguars do. She's on the fucking prowl. Oh, this is one of the greatest moments of my life. I want to cry. Ah. Guys, we just saw a jaguar in the flesh, in the wild, in its natural habitat. On, the, I mean, I can't even believe how far she walked just on the prowl looking for food. Incredible. Just to know that there's also black jaguars, there's also big male jaguars. They eat whatever they want. I just seen a level of not caring, not giving up from an animal. She swam across the river in front of 20, but in between boats, okay? And she's just looking, gone in the water, taking a drink, looking around. We saw her pounce on something. Just magic out here, man. And now we're on a, it's like, there was like 55 boats over there. I know I said 20, but I'm now I'm giving you an extra 35. That's how it felt. It was like Times Square at five o'clock. Uh, but now we just, we, we skirted off and now we're gonna go look for our own Jaguar instead of having a community shoot. So we got some sick content, some sick footage. Now we want to go see one hunt. Let's go. So first, we're going to see the jungle. But, you know, very, very special occasion. When you're busy, there's, there's a fine line between being a, a jungle boy and a man of action. I've never seen someone in the jungle with a suit that looks this good. And also this wild. But my boy's here from the concrete jungle. We have a giant river otter. They get about six foot. This guy's over here grooming himself. Uh, I've seen these guys hanging out in big groups. And uh, one time a jaguar, a young jaguar, trying to hunt one, probably didn't know what was up, but these guys ran up the bank and they tried to beat the baby jaguar up. And uh, they get about six foot, man. They got big, huge teeth. Teeth strong enough to bust some snail shells, bust some freshwater clams. They'll hunt fish left and right. But it gives you an idea how fast they are. 
Oh man, what a cool animal. He just does not care about us at all. If you can look down and see those bottom canines, he also does a, a matching pair on top. Uh, actually, when I was uh, probably like 23 years old, I tried to catch an American river otter and he bit me so hard. And uh, I'd rather catch a crocodile than a river otter. I'll tell you that. Let alone this guy. It smoked me. It's <laughs> cute though, those whiskers. Boys are on, son. Jaguar videos and photos. Shot some sick content today. Caught anaconda yesterday. I caught two snakes this morning. Still don't know what they were. So I just had plantains, rice, and steak. It was delicious. This is a great day. And I'm about to go catch, like, catch a piranha right now. Mike's got one. Mike's hooked up. Get him, Mike. Fight that, fight that fish. Mike, I caught a tree. <laughs> Mike's caught himself a tree. No? <laughs> Hit my foot's hitting it. Yeah, pull. Like, yeah. I keep pulling it. I just keep. The base going now. Let me see. Sir. Look, you caught one. Oh. This is a different one. It's a black tail. Black tail. Black tail. Oh, no, no, Mark, show oh. me, show me, show Look me. Look at this, what, bro. What we got? Freaking per oh, bro. The teeth on these guys are as advertised. A freaking piranha. I just caught one. Trevor caught two piranhas first. <laughs> it's all right. I could take. I could take that. This is the dinner. He beat me on our last trip in Australia. He caught a, Are we a couple of fish first. Uh, yeah. I, if I feed my family off this, I don't think we're gonna make it. <laughs> I might have to catch like a hundred of these things. Caught it? Oh, that came in over there. Maybe he wants this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Steph Curry. Steph Curry with the shot, boy. Nope. He's free. Let's go again. All right, Mike, how many is that? Piranha number seven now. <laughs> Starting to catch up. Oh. <laughs> That's got some sharp teeth, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh dude, gorgeous. look at that. Look at the gums. <laughs> oh, I'll put my finger in there. He's <laughs> <laughs> crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> yes! Yes! Piranha soup. What are we doing tonight? Piranha soup tonight. <laughs> Let's go.
never seen this one. Looks like a vine snake or something. Looks like a vine snake. Yeah. Wow. Not sure exactly what kind, probably uh, rear fanged. Got a cool, like, uh, bi colored head. Very uh, blow off in the windish. Hi, buddy. How are you? You gonna bite me? I don't even know what you are. You're cute. Um, it's cool to meet you. He's got a nice discolored head. Look at his head. It's like, it's like a reddish head. He's got big eyes. Definitely a colubrid. Um, again, I don't recommend you guys pick up snakes. You don't know what they are because you could die. But uh, look at that. Cool snake. Get him off the road. He was real stiff. I thought he was a twig. Came by him and uh, he just stayed there. Even when I walked up on him, he didn't move. Even when I picked him up, he barely moved. Uh, definitely an arboreal snake. Probably just grabbing some last bit of heat. The ground's pretty hot. Today's been overcast. Uh, I'll get him up this tree. It's a nice tree over here. So let's walk him and put him away. Hey, you go right here. Look at that. Home? Is that home for you? Yeah? Does it look familiar? There we go. Look at him go. See, he's no stranger to the trees. So he feels, he feels safe. Bom dia. What's up, baby? It's uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. Got up at 3.30. Left the house at 4. Took an hour car ride to the boat. Now we got a three hour boat ride to the tribes. We're gonna hang out with them for like six hours. And then another three hour boat ride back. And then another hour car ride back to the house and then we're gonna take a four hour car ride to the other airport and then take a two hour flight to the other airport and we're gonna stay there for like 24 hours or something like that and then another eight hour flight back to LA X baby and then another two hour car ride and I'll be in my bed. And look at my man's over here. He, he hasn't missed a beat every day. <laughs> I got the green. Got the green, you know? Yeah, for the forest. Jungle drip. Don't see me. <laughs> no pictures. No photos. This is great stuff, bro. <laughs> Tell us about the piranha team. <laughs> Yo. So, <laughs> so, so, so how did it all start? Well, my man over here, Tarzan, caught some piranhas. I'm in the jungle. I said, let me try it. Put a teaspoon in, pinkies up. Little piranha tea. Exactly how it went. Exactly how it went. And then we go back home. And they go, pinky ring with the piranha teeth. Blinged out, pinkies up. Gold, sorry. Gold. Gold. It all started with a hook. <laughs> it all started with a hook and a quiz one. It was all a dream.
You know, I've been literally <laughs> dying of laughter with these two. <laughs> Yo, bud, you got some macaroni and cheese? They're making a the, the gel. The grilled cheese is on the radiator. On the radiator. Grilled cheese is. What you know about that? Never ending. Oh, yeah, look. Yo, the grilled cheese is burning. How about? Oh, that's why I smell it. Yeah. You got grilled cheese. I knew I grilled cheese somewhere. Hell yeah. That's it. That's all I need is a grilled cheese. Bro, that's actually a grilled cheese. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, they cooked it. It's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. I walked the plant. There's just a couple that I saw pass under, but you're good. Bro, it's like five feet. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, you really? Right under. All right, walk the plank. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun, 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 Come on, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yeah, it made it. Hi kiddos. Hello. Have a good day, all right? Take care. What you got there, Mike? A little bit of skin. Yeah, you're yeah. bright rose or something like that, bro. You know, what you know, little, little, little back, a little back. Little back. Squeeze and shit, squeeze. Pick that penny back there, right? Oh, you know about you the penny. Arch the back, you know what I'm saying? Arch. Keep Shoulders. Get shoulders up, you know? Just, you know, lock those knees in. You don't want to get off white. A scoliosis is Let's walk this cold. You walk off. Stop this shit. Three more reps, you know what I'm saying? Come on. Come on. Do it for Vinny. Squeeze. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Giovanni. <laughs> I, I think it's just gasoline. No, it's juice. Yeah, we're bringing them juice as they're sticking a, a pipe right, into it right here. now. Yeah. Hey, Eduardo, this is juice. Huh? Where's yeah. Oh, okay. Gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's to find a boat. <laughs> it's what? Joey's to find a boat. On the way to go see Bolero tribes. We're in for a good time. Day three, Amazon. Jaguars, check. Anacondas, check. Capybara, check. Snakes. Of all sorts. Check. Tribes. Brother, oh, check it off right now, too. Let's go. Yo, get the speaker box loud. Hitting that stuff till you hear that sound. photos and being more behind the lens you know um, my wild days are 
gonna come to an end soon. Uh, and that's the decision I want to make for myself, you know? But I think it can get wilder behind the camera, you know? Some up close and personal, cool shots. And uh, less hands off, more hands on. Love you guys. Enjoy the freaking ride. Look at this. We are in here. haven't noticed the territory has completely changed literally on a boat since four o'clock this morning we've been going upstream up river going north it's 11 o'clock now 11 we left at 4 a.m it's 11 in the afternoon and the trees you got are substantially taller the river's gone from wide to very narrow to medium to small like wetlands now it's just I can't even see past the bank. The banks have grown another 15 feet in some areas. And it's just crocodiles everywhere. Of course, caimans. And now we're in green anaconda territory. These guys are freaking out because we're riding in a boat and we're going nice and smooth. But boom! We're like hitting stones now and the water's changing. There's a croc like laying over there right now. And he's just in the middle of the like the river, but it's like this thin of water. It's crazy, man. We've seen big giant trees just laying in the middle. It's nuts out here. And we're about 10 minutes in the tribes. So uh, our boy's been here his whole life and he's never even been here before. He's like, I don't even know. I'm asking him how long he does. like, bro, I don't know. He just doesn't know. <laughs> he's like, yeah, my uncle lives here and my cousin lives here. I guess we'll be all right. I ain't worried. I ain't worried about nothing. You know, I'm just living my best. I seen howling monkeys. Bro, I seen two full-grown adult giant river otters they are my a pit bull has no chance against one of these things this thing could take out like 10 pit bulls at one time bro it's ridiculous ridiculous i'm in heaven childhood dream man this child is great i saw a little kid on the bank who met him he had a jaguar tooth i said yo i gave him i tried to give him a hundred bucks he's like bro fuck off this protects me like say less my guy Met another guy, he got attacked by a jaguar. He's a kid, he got a squatter. Prove it. Many years ago, the, the jaguar attacked him next to here. Look at the hand. Está aqui, não vou mostrar aqui, não. Não, pode mostrar. Não. Quando ele back to you, but he said, no, no, I have not. Wow, man's been literally mauled by a jag and lived to tell a story. He showed him cuts on his head. So he's got a big chunk on his ass, but he's not going to show his ass cheeks. He's going to roll like that. I mean, neither. Just behind the house. Just behind, Just the behind house. his house here. That's out here. What's up, baby? Fucker. Look at sitting above that bird nest. Oh, is that an iguana? Elas estão te perseguindo. Female. Female. She's got eggs in there. Look at that. Brazilian iguana. Cute kid, definitely female. The males usually have giant pores on the, on the base of their thighs. Two big bulges right there. But if you guys look nice and close, you guys can see those little lumps right there. Those are eggs. Oh, wow. We've seen a few iguanas over there nesting on top of their nest. Another angle of where those eggs are down there. So uh, we'll let her off into the water. But my first time ever seeing a Brazilian iguana. Cool thing about these guys, if you hold them the right way, upside down, they kind of sort of just chill almost.
Let's go to the school place. O cacique vem aqui? Não, não vai nada com ele. Tá bom, hein? Very good. Very good. Excited. You said to see your family? This, this is my family, part of my family. I am in my land now. This wow. is a Borereu a reserve. They are living here all their lives. They depend the fish to survive. Wow. The economy here is fishing. They are coming, they are coming. All right, guys, so if you guys look over here, Frank's playing football with one of the kids. Bought us some soccer balls, a bunch of snacks. And, uh, they have a full on soccer field over there, so I'm sure they're gonna enjoy that. Aline. And your son, Stephanie. Hey, what's up everyone? We're here about 100 cams north of where we were earlier in the, in the Pantanal with some indigenous uh, tribes. And what's important for the Acosta Tequila project is not only the preservation of the jaguar, but making sure we're giving back to where we're going and the cultures that we are uh, visiting. Because that's super important to us, whether it's here or Mexico. But brought some balls, some snacks down, so this is going to be really exciting. They're saying how these right here, the future ecotourist guides, future conservationists. Uh, he wants to get an English teacher here so these guys can uh, learn English yeah. and be able to give guys, you know, tours about their natural habitat, where they're from, where they live, you know. And also how to make souvenirs from like seeds and plants and trees and not sell skins and bones, you know. Alright guys, that concludes our tour for today. We went upstream five hours. The boys want to do some great giving back to the natives, and we gave some toys, some food, some soccer balls, gave a little bit of encouragement for ecotourism, and we'll be back. This is just the start. Definitely be back. We love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This whole trip was sponsored by these two great gentlemen. They came all the way from the concrete jungle to the real jungle, did some real work. And I'm proud of it, man, and I'm happy to be a part of Costa Tequila. Many more to go. Let's save the jaguar, save the rainforest, and help all the people we can. Until next time, guys. Peace. See ya. We out.